Hi, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimpleBIM by merging models and editing their placements. There are many reasons why you would want to merge models. Whatever the reason, SimpleBIM will allow you not just to overlay the models, but also harmonize their data and structures and create well-defined single file IFC models from the end result. Now let's see how it works. Click on the Merge IFC button. There are a few options here. You can either try to harmonize the model structures automatically or do it manually later. I'll choose to merge the containment automatically during the import. Note that in order to merge the building stories, you need to merge the sites and buildings also. Click Merge and choose the models. You can merge multiple models at the same time. Click Open and the models are imported and merged to the existing model. Note that some of the harmonization is already done in the import process. For example, if the models are in different units, they are converted to the same. Now we have the models in. As the 3D warns us, the models are far away from each other and thus they are so small that you cannot see them in 3D. In a well-managed BIM project, the model placements are coordinated such that the models are automatically in line. However, many times it's not possible to have all the models in the same coordinates, for example because of the different applications in use. This is where Model Placement Editor comes in. Here we are in the Model Placement Editor. Because the models are far away from each other, they are shown in different buckets. This way we can see and pick points from all of them at the same time. There are three point of views to the model placement. First of all, you can move and rotate objects. Second, you can move and rotate coordinate systems which host the objects. These are sites, buildings and building stories basically. And third, you can map the model coordinate system to the geographic coordinate system. Moving objects is done in the Move tab. You can move all the objects from the chosen model or only the selected ones. I'll put in a Z transformation, apply and the whole chosen model is moved. Note you can undo any operation anytime you like. Let's try moving only objects in a single building story. I select the objects with the quick select, apply, good afternoon, undo. And finally a single object, I undo. Pick will allow you to choose the start and end point of the move from any of your models. Let's move the far away objects to the same coordinates as the main model. For example, like this. I follow the instructions below. First, the start point and then the end point. Apply. Big origin will move objects such that the big point will be in the 0, 0, 0 coordinates of the world coordinate system after the transformation. Rotation works pretty much the same. Edit objects from the whole model or rotate only the selected ones. Note that in rotation it is important to choose the right pivot point for your edits. Again you can pick it or set it manually. Picking the angle can be done with four points, with two corresponding lines if you like to think it that way. Follow the instructions to do this. Apply and the whole model gets rotated around the pivot point. Select objects and only the selected ones are rotated. Set coordinate system allows you to move and rotate any of the coordinate systems in your model's containment hierarchy. Choosing a coordinate system will show you the original coordinates. You can then pick a new point for the system either from 3D or enter the coordinates manually. For rotation you need a pivot point, an angle. Note that an important decision here is whether you want to move the objects or just the coordinate system. If you leave this option unchecked, then the absolute placement of the geometric objects will stay the same. Only the coordinate system in question will be moved relative to other systems. 
if I choose to move the objects with the coordinate system, then any object with placement is relative to the chosen coordinate system will be moved also. For example, like this. If you know that the coordinate system origins from the different models are in the same place relative to the model objects, but in different coordinates, then you can simply map the coordinate systems to the same coordinates. Simply choose the model and the coordinate system you want to move. The placement and rotation is shown below. Then choose the reference coordinate system. If you click apply, mapping will automatically calculate the difference between the chosen coordinate systems and move and rotate the target model and objects accordingly. Finally, there's an option in IFC to map the model coordinate system to a geographic system. This is done in SimpleBIM in the Longitude and Latitude tab. Choose the site coordinate system you want to map. Sometimes there are many. The existing reference point and the latitude and longitude are shown. You can check the existing mapping in the Google Maps. Note that this of course requires that you are using the same geographic system as Google. Or choose the new one by entering the coordinates to the text boxes. Note that the format must be correct. You can give the coordinates either with three numbers, degrees, minutes and seconds, or four adding the millionth of second after the last separator column. Check the new placement. Yes, now we are quite close to the data cubist office. Nice. Okay, now we have correct placements. So what else we can do to the merged models? First of all, note that you can filter the models at any time. This will help you in visualization, editing and filtering also effects on what gets exported back to IFC. Some basic information about the models can be found from the model information table. This is also one place to select all the objects in the model at once. You can do this also with a quick select. How about the editing and validation? Everything you can do with a single model you can do to the multiple models, either manually or automatically with the templates. We already merged the containment. You can fine tune it further in the containment editor. You could trim the models in the model trimmer or edit and harmonize the properties in the property editor. You could edit and harmonize the system, zones, groups and types, and even appearances in the appearance editor or define locations in the location editor. Okay, that's the basics of the model merging and model placement editor. When you are ready, it's time to learn either how you can reach your models with location information or how to export the models back to IFC either as single files or multiple parcel models. And also how you can automate the edits with templates. Click on the location editor or the export preview button and continue by watching the tutorials over there. See you in a bit. Thank you for watching.